Underneath the vehicle, we're locating the starter. We're going to change out the starter. To do that, you got to locate it first in here. The bolts to the starter, we're going to remove some wires here. First, you got to disconnect your battery. But um, we got to disconnect this wire. There's another bolt up here. But the starter is located right here. You back off just a little. This is the starter. Right here, we're gonna disassemble it. I'll remove it from this socket here. Has a solenoid on top. Anyway, we have two bolts so far, and they're like two wire connectors. So we're gonna connect, disconnect this wire. Has another wire up further. You probably can't see it here, but uh, that's what we need to do. You're moving the starter and the starter solenoid. So we're gonna need to dis uh, remove this bolt, take off the wire, remove the other bolt. Then at the top we have uh, another wire connection that's connected to the uh, solenoid up there. You can't see it. Have another bolt here in the corner to get the starter out. So just stand by. Diversity 2. Six and one half. Socket here. I can pull it one hand while I'm holding the camera. This first screw off here. It's loose. I'm going to turn with my hand. Okay, here it comes now. Already got the battery disconnected. Safety. Cut the first nut off. And this wire slides off right here. My first cable loose. And I have another screw right here. I need to get that off. This other, let's see if it's going there. Okay, I got it on the other screw. It's going to take a turn it here. I think I can take my hand and turn it the rest of the way. I guess not. I keep trying this some more. And I'll try my hand again. Still not going to turn. Oh, that's fine. Just keep using the socket. I'm upside down here. A stubborn screw. It's actually a long bolt. Try it now. Okay, here it comes. Okay, I got it out. Now we gotta work on the other one which is up a little higher. I don't know if you can see this, but it's about right here. Gotta get that out. Almost have it out. See it's moving around. 
just about got it released. Stand by. Okay, I got all of the wire connectors loose and the boat, so all we have to do now is grab a hold of it and then slide it forward. And here it comes. Here comes my starter disconnected. I got it out. Lay it down here while I get my camera out the way. Okay, this is my starter. This is the starter um, solenoid on top. Sometimes just replacing that will take care of the uh, problem. This is where the two electrical connectors were connected here. This is where the front slides in. So it wasn't hard to, uh, to do. There's two bolts. One on this side, one on that side. There you go, that's how you remove your starter from this 1998 Ford Explorer. So let me go back under and show you uh, what it looks like with the starter out. Okay, back under the truck here. This is where the starter came out at. One boat there. One boat there. I got my wire connectors here. Electrical connectors. There's my big one, my small one. There's the one that was right in front of the starter. It's a very easy project for you to do if you want to save a little money. You're going to be putting your own starter. All right, move right along. We're going to put everything back. Get a little lube job here. Your stuff is staying lubed up. Preventing is maintenance. Keep rolling. To remove the um, solenoid, it has two screws here in the back. One right there, one right there. That's the reason you need to. Um, Get the solenoid, just unscrew these two screws here. It's in the back of it. It takes, it takes a star screwdriver with this. This one here. Just simply unscrew it, and the solenoid slides off. Slides off and out. like that and the wire connected to the bottom. Just slide it back in and screw it back. Kind of hard to do with the camera but uh, that's how it comes out. Let's put everything back together. When you get done, just put everything back where you got it.